behind me are the presentations going on for the last of the four disciplines of the FEI World Cups we've had this weekend in Stuttgart. It has been a fantastic weekend of equestrian competition. Behind me is the prize giving for the last of the four disciplines, the Longines FEI World Cup jumping, and what an incredible competition it's been. Absolute championship level. 40 starters representing 20 nations, nine went clear in the first round. Well, Steve Gerdat, who's been second at two of the Longines FEI World Cup legs already, the Olympic champion, he came in about fourth in the jump off and set an electric time is going to be very close indeed. Olympic champion means business. Marcus Henning got a right flower at that boxer, so did Steve Gerdat. He's up on the clock. He's still got the Oxers to negotiate, but he is up on the clock and he stays up on the clock. He goes into the lead. Steve Gerdat, Olympic champion, goes into the lead. However, hands deep to dryer for the host nation came in on embassy and took three quarters of a second of Steve Gerdat's time and what an electric round it was. This, that was very tight indeed. Will he get away with it? Yes, he does. What a turn. Right, ping. Now, the oxer with the water tray. How brave is he going to be? Flies it. That's the risk, but he's got away with it. Down to the last. Look at the clock. He's quicker. He's quicker. No, he's done. He's clear. He's got into the lead. 0.8 of a second into the lead goes hands deep to Dreya. I'm uh, very, very happy. This is my region here in Baden-Württemberg and to win here the World Cup qualifier, uh, I'm so happy. Well, that ends a truly wonderful two days of coverage of FEI World Cup competitions here in Stuttgart. We next go to the fifth leg of the Longines FEI World Cup jumping in London at Olympia. Join us then. Don't miss it. <laughs>